Hi folks, this is Shefik. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to focus on super fast vector similarity search even in billion scale database with Spotify's wager. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. Voyager is Spotify's second generation approximate nearest neighbor solution. Its first generation solution was Enoy and it was launched in 10 years ago. But on the other hand, Voyager was launched just in last year and we are in 2024. Enoy was using tree based approach. On the other hand, Voyager is currently using graph based approach to perform faster vector search. Important highlight of Voyager according to the Spotify engineering blog post, which can be accessed in this URL, it's 10 times faster than Enoy with same recall and also it has 50% more accuracy at same speed. As a prerequisite of this experiment, you are expected to install Voyager package from PyPy with pip install Voyager command. And secondly, we are going to use DeepFace library for Python to generate vector embeddings from facial images in this experiment. You can install the base package with pip install the base command. As a database, I'm going to use the unit test items of the base library, which can be available in this URL. Thereafter, I'm going to import the built-in operating system library. Thereafter, operating system module has walk function, and here we are going to pass the unit test folder, the base tests, and dataset. And as you can see, operating system's walk function is returning directory path, directory names, and file names. File names is a list, that's why I'm going to build another for loop here for file name in file names. Thereafter, we are able to print the exact paths of images in the unit test folder. Directory path slash file name. As you can see in the image path here, double slash available that's why i'm going to get rid of the slash character here and i'm also going to set this to image path variable thereafter as you can see here some non-image files available that's why i'm going to check the file name it should has dot jpeg extension but if i check if it's not including dot jpeg extension then i can continue to next iteration now as you can see i have all facial images now i'm going to use the face library to represent those facial images as vector embeddings that's why i'm going to import the library from the face import the face once the deep face library is imported i'm going to use its represent function and set image path as image path here secondly in this experiment I'm going to use model name as FaceNet because it offers more stable vector embeddings. And secondly, detector backend is going to be MTCN in the study because its detection performance is high and also it's very fast. If you check the doc string, represent function is returning facial area face confidence and embedding. I'm going to focus on the embedding here and also its list. Let's assign this to results and build another for loop here for result and results and I'm going to get the embedding key of each result. Or if you want to focus on the first facial image detected in the face, you can use results zero index values embedding key instead of embedding. Let's do this in this experiment and I have image path and I have the embedding. Now I'm going to store all embeddings in a embeddings list. Before this for loop, I'm going to initialize the empty embeddings list. Similarly, I'm going to store the image names as empty list. Here, once embedding is calculated, I'm going to append the current image path to the image names list and current embedding to embeddings list. All embeddings are calculated and they are stored in embeddings list. Let's check at size. 
It's 63. That's a very small number for approximate nearest neighbor experiment. Let's generate that sentence data. I'm going to import NumPy dependency to generate sentence data. Here, let's set a target size and let's set it to 1 million. Let's build a product for I in range from my current size 63 to target size 1 million. And image path here is going to be sanity underscore i dot jpeg and embedding is going to be numpy random uniform and let's generate embeddings between minus 5 and plus 5 and it's going to be 128 dimensions similarly i'm going to store image path and embeddings into this list here i can import a kadum module tqdm import tqdm if i use takadum here I'm able to monitor the progress. It's completed in 7 seconds, which is very fast. Now, length of my embeddings list is 1 million. Also, should be equal to length of image names. Now, I can store all those embeddings into my Voyager index. That's why I'm going to import Voyager as from Voyager import index and space. And here I'm going to initialize the Voyager index. Index is equal to index. And I'm going to use Euclidean distance and FaceNet module generates 128 dimensional vector embeddings. Now Voyager index has at item and at items functions. Of course, calling at items is going to be much faster. That's why I'm going to create embeddings numpy array convert this list of embeddings to numpy array now let's check its shape at 1 million rows and 128 columns i'm able to store them in my voyager index but i wonder how long does it take that's why i'm going to import built-in time module here this is going to be the beginning time and thereafter it's going to be the end time here i'm going to call index at items and find embeddings numpy array all my vector embeddings are stored in my voyager index now let's check how long does it take 36 seconds which is very acceptable time because at items is not going to be called very often i'm not going to call this to be honest again but if new items are coming to my database then i may need to call at items again it's time to search I'm going to set my target image path here. Let's set target path. This is going to be target.jpg. And let's import OpenCV dependency and also matplotlib. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Here I'm going to import this as OpenCV.embrid and set target path. Thereafter, I'm going to show this as matplotlibs. Imshow function. This is shown in blue because OpenCV reads it as inverse direction of red, green, blue. I can handle this as this is my target image. Now I'm going to represent this as vector embeddings. Image path is going to be target path, and I'm going to use the same configuration with the previous represent function, same model name, and same detector backend. Thereafter, this is going to return a list, and I'm going to get it zero index value because this image may have many faces but in this case i know just one face is available and get its embedding key it's going to be my target embedding let me show you the target embedding by the way this image is not available in my database so i'm going to search at similar items and this should be 128 dimensional and its type should be list Voyager index is already built. I'm going to use this pre built one and call its query function and send target embedding as input. Also, k value, its default value is 1, but I'm going to find most similar 3 items. Let's set this to k is equal to 3. Also, let's check what's going to return. This is going to return a tuple of neighbor IDs and distances. The important thing is here how long does it take? Similarly, I'm going to store the current time before calling query and just after it, let's check how many seconds does it take.
as you can see it's very very fast even though my database size is 1 million let's check neighbor ids these are the indexes and i store everything in image names if i find the neighbor id in neighbor ids image names get neighbor id index this is going to be the most similar one similarly if i use enumerate here i can get its index value in that way i can print its distance the most similar one is image 6.jpg and this is its Euclidean distance let's plot it here source image path is going to be this thereafter i'm going to read it with opencv let's set this to source image thereafter let's plot it matplotlib initial function send source image converted to red green blue but here additional i should call show because i'm calling in show in for loop otherwise it's going to plot the last one this is the most similar one this is the second most similar one and this is the third most similar one and this is the target image really it's all returning images of Anje Nojili. This shows our experiment is working fine. So in this video, we implemented super fast vector similar to search with Spotify's Voyager approximate nearest neighbor library for a million scale database. And we use DeepFace to generate vector embeddings from facial images. As you may remember, we are able to store 1 million size database into our Voyager index in 36 seconds but this is not going to perform often on the other hand which is going to be performed often query this is performed just in milliseconds even though my database size is million scale so if you do like this video please like it and do not forget to subscribe to the channel also if you make comments it will help me to reach much more people i appreciate for your support thank you for watching this video and see you next time